I think that the key thing that I would say that somebody needs is the ability to think like a business and think like a strategy, you know, from a strategy perspective, because those skills are timeless. So there are timeless skills that if you were to ask me this five years ago or five years from now, those things would be valuable. And that is a business case for what you're doing here, understanding how that relates to how your business makes money or how your business thrives and relating that then to what is the latest technology capabilities from a pushing the envelope perspective, but also from a restriction perspective, which is things like privacy and so on, that, that will get us closest to that result. And so sticking with big themes, like five year long themes is a great idea, but then boiling it then down to, okay, well, what, how do we go to market today? And I think that really helps out. So if your goal is to, you know, if your company's goal is to maintain, um, maintain what you have without making any risk, then you would have a certain skill, set of skills you'd want to apply there. If your company's goal is to grow like crazy, then you'd have a different set of, of rules and restrictions you go for and skills you'd want. And so I think that the skills are generally a little bit later in the game as to fitting the strategy. Now, generally speaking, though, it works the opposite in the marketplace. Usually people are hired based on their skills. They're hired based on these hard skills they have around um, specifically tools, specifically around techniques, ad platforms, and so on. So it's a little bit of this weird thing where there's overarching skills that will get you really far fast in your career. That's more the strategy, the business. And then there's the hard skills that will get you hired faster. And so I think a really good balanced person understands the utility of all those. And so you might spend more time learning the hard skills and, and learning that, but also at the same time, you should aspire to understand how this affects your business because the people who make business cases are the ones who get answers. They're the ones who get funded. They're the ones who get budgets. They're the ones who get to do the fun stuff. And so that's always an important thing, whatever you're going to do to go to market that year or, or in the next few years.